you guys see me driving this excavator? Howdy, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Cowboy Jack, and I'm really excited. Today, we're at Brookside Equipment Sales in Spring, Texas. Do you see all these tractors and equipment that they have? Do you know what brand it is? It's John Deere, and they make a lot of really neat tractors and equipment. So we're gonna learn all about big machinery today. Come on, let's go check it out. Here we are in John Deere's Gator. This is a really nice utility equipment vehicle, so you can get around really fast. You gotta buckle in and be safe. So this is kind of like the door right here. See, now I'm not going anywhere. And whenever you're driving something, you always gotta buckle up. Got my seat belt right here. All right, now I'm gonna use the key to turn it on. Wow, that was really neat. And look, it's got all these cages. Well, I'm gonna put it in drive and we're gonna go take a look at it. You guys ready? All right. All right, we're at a good place to stop and take a look and learn all about the gator. There, I put it back in park and I'm gonna turn the engine off with the key. But before I do, come over here and take a look at all these gauges. So all these gauges tell you exactly what's going on. We're going zero miles per hour right now because we're not moving. And then you have the engine temperature. It's not very hot. And the fuel gauge. Uh-oh, it looks like we're a little bit low, so we might need to get some gas. All right, I'm gonna take my seatbelt off so we can get a good look. Wow. All right, well, come over here and let's take a look. These right here, you see, it's got four black wheels. Here's one. Two, and there's two on the other side too. Right here, like I said, we're kind of low on gas, so we're gonna need to get some. But this is the gas cap, and that's how you fill it out. Fill it up. And this is really cool. It's just like a truck, it has a big bed on it. So if you were hauling something, you could put it in here, so you could put whatever you need in here and haul it wherever you need to go. If you look back here, this is the exhaust. Most of the equipment we see today is gonna to have this logo on it because it's made by John Deere. And this is that safety door that we talked about that buckles just like this. See, now if you were riding in here, you'd be nice and safe. Wow. Come over here in front. This gator even has headlights on it. So that way you could see when you're driving at night. Wow, and it's got a place here where you could put a trailer hitch or maybe a winch. In case you got stuck, you could pull yourself out of a bad spot. That's really neat. And you can see it's got a lot of ground clearance. So this thing loves to go off-road and it's even got four-wheel drive. That means you can take it anywhere. And it's got this big roof rack. That's so you don't get the sun in your eyes when you're driving. But it also serves as a roll cage in case something bad did happen, you'd have a little bit of protection. Wow, this gator is so neat. I'm glad we got to take a look at it. Another thing that's really cool about the gator is, check this out. The bed actually lifts up. So if you were hauling something, you could dump it out real easy, just like this. Whoa! So see, everything that's in your bed, you could dump out just like a dump truck does. But while we've got this open, we could take a sneak peek at something else. Look, there's the motor. That's a really big motor for this. So this thing can actually go pretty fast and it works really hard. So it's a great tool to have. I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up. That was a lot of fun. Wow, I love this gator, but let's go check out some other equipment too. This 
is a really big tractor. That was a whole lot of fun to drive. You see how tall it is? I mean, Cowboy Jack's a pretty tall guy. This thing is really big. Do you guys want to take a look at the inside? Come on. Wow, this is really cool in here. Do you hear that? There's music. Let me see if I can turn the music down. There we go. There's the radio. See? You can make the music go really loud or really quiet. And also, in this tractor, there's even air conditioning. Here's all the controls to make it go cold, hot, and this controls the fan and how fast the air is coming out. You've got all these vents all around, so when you're out doing tractor work, you don't get too hot or too cold, even in the wintertime. It's a lot of fun. Wow, that was really cool. And see, there's a whole lot of really confusing controls here. This, if we had a front loader or something kind, of, some kind of bucket on the front, this would pick it up and move it all around. These are the different speed buttons. So if you push A, you're not going very fast. That's kind of like how Cowboy Jack was driving. I like to drive slow. That's just my style. <laughs> but this controls the level of your hitch. And these control your hydraulic system because this whole tractor is controlled by hydraulics. And just like in a car, here you've got the steering wheel and the clutch, the brake, and the gas pedal. It's really neat up in here. Oh, and you know what else? Check this out. Look right here. You see what this is? This folds out just like this folds out just like that. And this is called the buddy seat. So if Cowboy Jack was out working, I could bring a buddy along with me and he could take a ride too. All right, well, now that we've seen the inside, let's go check out the outside. So the wheels on this tractor are a little bit bigger than what we saw on the Gator because it needs to get around a lot of rough terrain. And you could be using this like a farmer, so you might be driving just in a plowed field or you might be doing the plow. So these wheels are really big. You know what color this is? Yeah, that's black. But what color is the actual wheel part? It's really cool. That's a John Deere yellow. <laughs> See right here? This is where the motor is, it's right underneath here. And it's got all of the power that you need to drive this big contraption. And it's got this protection right here on the front, so that way if you need to push something, you don't mess up your headlights or anything like that. Look at that, look at that. This tractor even has a windshield wiper. Wow, so you don't have to stop even if it's raining. It's got all kinds of hydraulics, like I said. If you look right here, these are all the different hydraulic hoses because this machine has a lot of tools that you can add on to it and they're all controlled by hydraulics. And hydraulics are really neat because basically what it is is pressurized fluid you use to actually lift and drop things because if you want to lift something, you add pressure to that fluid and it raises it up. If you want to drop something, it lets the pressure out so whatever that tool is can drop back down. It's really cool. Here's the other door. The back tires are huge. Look how big this back tire is. I mean, I am not a short guy, but this tire is huge. <laughs> that is ginormous. And then on the back, we've got tail lights and there's even blinkers. If in case you need to drive it on the road, you can signal to the other drivers which way you're turning. And this is the hitch to attach different implements, and it's all run by hydraulics. See right here? This is a hydraulic cylinder. So this would get pumped full of hydraulic fluid so that it can raise up or lower down. That's really neat. Wow. And then you've even got a toolbox right here. I'd like to keep my lunch in there, but you can put anything you want. And it looks like this one doesn't run on gasoline, it runs on diesel fuel. You know it's diesel because the cap is green. And most gas stations, whenever you're trying to fill up, you make sure when you're using your car, you put gasoline in it. But with a tractor, you use the green pump, so you're putting diesel. That's really neat. So, we 
We've had a lot of fun checking out this machine. It was so big and so cool to drive. see me driving this excavator? It's really fun. I'm going to show you how I can move the tools on it. really cool. It's really neat to get to work an excavator like that. But as you can see up here in the excavator, there's all kinds of different switches and levers. And look, there's no wheels on an excavator. It runs on tracks. Those tracks are really neat. That means an excavator can go anywhere you need it to. And it's got this big bucket on it like I was operating. You work that by using these different levers and hydraulics to make it dig or push things however you want it to go. That's really fun. Wow, it was a good time driving it. And this thing even has air conditioning like the other equipment. Wow, I'm gonna come out. Woo. Oh, that's a big, big piece of machinery that was a whole lot of fun. So like we talked about, this is the big old bucket you use for digging. Take a look in here. So you can see the size of my hand versus the size of this bucket. You can dig a whole lot with this thing. And it's got this great big boom on it. And that's all controlled by hydraulics. And then it even has this blade on the front. You can raise that or lower it down. What do you think you would use this blade for? Well, you could use it to make the dirt real flat or to push it out of the way. It's really neat. See right here again, all these hydraulic hoses to control it. Wow. This piece of machinery is just so big. That's really cool. Oh look, it even has an exhaust pipe, just like the other tools. Uh-oh, it's got some really complicated designs here. These are drawings that show you how everything works and how to maintain it. That's really cool. Do you guys want to check out a skid steer? They've got a skid steer here that we can take a look at. Come on, let's go. Wow, I've never even been this close to a skid steer before. It looks really neat. Let's check it out. Wow, see it runs on tracks too, just like the excavator. Oh, hey, hey, 
How's it going? I'm Cowboy Jack. Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Nice to meet you. What are you doing here? I'm just finishing up some maintenance on this thing. Wow. So you actually work on these? I do. Man, that must be a lot of fun. It is. I bet it can be really challenging. Very. So how long have you been working on this kind of equipment? Ten years. Ten years? Wow, ten years. That's a really long time. That's really neat. I bet you love what you do. I do. Wouldn't Man. do anything else. That's really cool. So what are we looking at here? This is actually the engine compartment of this thing. Wow. And what does this thing do right here? That's a fan. It keeps the engine cool. Oh, so when you're out working and you're running this thing, it cools itself by a fan? Fan and a radiator. Oh, a radiator? Do you guys know what a radiator is? It has a lot of fluid running through it to suck heat off of a motor, right Kevin? Absolutely. That's a simple way of saying it. He could probably explain it in a lot more detail. But you guys don't care about radiators. Let's check out the rest of the motor. What is this thing right here? That's your antifreeze that goes through the radiator. Oh, okay. And then what's this guy? That's called the air cleaner. That's where fresh air gets sucked into the engine to burn off the diesel. Wow, so this runs on diesel too. Absolutely. That's really neat. What is this little yellow thing right here? I saw you touching it earlier. That's the oil dipstick. That's how you check the oil level in the engine. Wow, so you can use this and pull it out and make sure you've got lots of good oil in it. Absolutely. Wow, that's really cool. I'm really glad we got to meet our buddy Kevin here so we got to see all about this engine. That's really neat. And he's got such a cool job. That's really fun. Hey, thanks for giving us some time. Absolutely. I really appreciate Absolutely. Thank you. All right. It's all yours. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Wow, he was really nice. That was fun. Hey, they said I could operate the skid steer so we can play with the bucket a little bit. So if you guys stand out here, I'm going to climb in. This one's a little different. Do you see a door on the side? No, there's no doors on the side. The door's right in the front. So I've actually got to step in the bucket and climb in. All right, I'm inside. It's kind of like sitting down to a little secret spot. I'm going to go ahead and start it up, but I have to close the door first. See how I was able to lift up the bucket and put it back down and then raise it really, really high and bring it all the way back to the ground? All done by hydraulics. Again, here's some of those cylinders right here. This one was really neat. And this one even has air conditioning too. Thank goodness, because we're here in the Texas heat.
guys. This little tractor is really neat. So it's got a lot of attachments on it. I, you saw me just operate the front bucket, but you know what? This thing actually has two different seats. Let me show you. So see, I was sitting in this seat right here, but I can lift this up, get that out of the way. Now I'm gonna pull down this seat right here. See, this seat is where you would sit to operate this. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it back up and show you how that works. Whoop, I forgot I gotta go around this side. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the counterbalances down. That keep it, keeps it steady while you're working with the digger. So it's these two levers right here, take a look. And see, when I pull these, it's gonna move these down. See, now we're nice and stable, and it let out my step right here. So these levers work a lot like a joystick for a video game. But if you step back, it's not a video game. We're going to show you how to dig it. That's a lot of fun, so if you needed to dig something, you would just get off of that other seat that we switched down and jump on this one. You could do all the digging you wanted. That was so fun. All right, well, I'm gonna lift these counterbalances back up. See, now the tractor's sitting back on its tires again. And so I'm gonna flip this seat up, put it back, and now we can drive again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. We've seen everything there is, it's so neat. That was a lot of fun. And again, what color is it? Yeah, it's green, John Deere green. How cool is that? So John Deere doesn't just make really big equipment like we've been looking at. They make a lot of equipment that you might be familiar with at home. Look right here, there's two different types of lawn mowers. So this right here is what they call a zero turn mower. The reason they call, that, call it that is because it has these two levers. And so you can actually turn on a dime by using those levers. It's really neat. And it can go really fast too. And then you might have one of these at home or you might have seen somebody using it. This is just a classic ride-on lawnmower. See, this is the lawnmower blade, and if you were going through the grass right now, it'd be spitting out all that grass right here. Wow, this thing is so nice and clean and pretty. I bet it would make cutting the grass really fun. <laughs> Alright guys, wow we've had a lot of fun today and we've learned a lot about tractors and equipment here at Brookside Equipment Sales in Spring, Texas. It's been so much fun and I'm really glad that they agreed to let us come out and take a look around. That was really nice of them. So if you live in the area and you happen to need a tractor, now you know where to go. Come see the great folks at Brookside Equipment Sales right here in Spring. So anyways, I had a lot of laughs, we had a good time, I got to even drive a lot of big machinery. So if you had a good time with me today, go ahead and subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. And until next time, yeah! Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack, and today, oh man, 
my truck's having a little bit of trouble, so I need a tow. Have you guys ever seen a tow truck before? We're gonna get to see a lot of them today. I'm really excited. We're here with Milstead Automotive in Spring, Texas, and we're gonna get to see their regular tow trucks, like a flatbed, and we're gonna get to see something really cool in a minute, something really, really big. But right now, look at my poor truck. He's kind of sad. He needs a tow, like I said. Come on, let's go over here and watch him pick up my truck. <laughs> Come on guys. Wow, so this is the tow truck. So you're actually gonna lift my truck up? Yeah. That's so cool, so how do you do it? Well, first you take the bed back. Whoa, see that he's putting the bed backwards. He's, he's putting it down. Whoa. Wow, that's really cool. Hey, could I take a look over here real quick? Absolutely. All right, guys, come on, look at this. See, look here on the tow truck. You see all that motion that just happened? That's powered by hydraulics. Hydraulics are really cool. We've talked about them before, but what it is is it uses hydraulic fluid and it's a series of pumps and movement. So we use compression to make things move. So this right here is a hydraulic cylinder and they pump that full of fluid or let the fluid out determining which way they want it to move. It's got all these big hoses. Look at all this crazy equipment underneath the tow truck. That's really cool. Well, it looks like he's fixing to use some chains to get my truck up on the flatbed. Let's go check it out. I'm glad Steve is here to help us. He's a professional. I wouldn't know what I was doing here. This looks like a lot of hard work. Hey, did you guys notice those big lights up on the tow truck? Wow, those are really cool. They kind of look like police lights, but they're tow truck lights. And whenever you see those flashing, you know something's probably happened and you probably ought to move out of the way so the tow truck can go and help whoever's having an issue. Look at that. So now that he's got my truck all hooked up, he's using this big winch. See that winch? So that's a cable that has hydraulic or electric power behind it to actually lift up my truck. All right, now see that cable is doing its job and it's pulling my truck up onto the flatbed. That's really cool. I bet that winch is really, really strong to make this truck move like that. My truck looks a little bit dirty. I think I need to take it back to Bucky's to get another car wash. See, now that he's got it all the way up on the tow truck, he put my car back in park so that he can raise it up and it's not gonna move anywhere. Wow, so those straps are gonna make sure the truck doesn't go anywhere? Yep. That is so cool. I bet those straps are really strong. Hey guys, if you look, remember how we talked about that cable and the winch pulling my truck up? If you look right there, you can see it's hooked up underneath my truck and it's actually holding it in place right now until he gets those other straps put on. Oh, look at that. Those straps are ratcheting down and getting real tight to make sure my truck doesn't move. And he knows all these really cool knots. I don't know those knots. <laughs> He looks like he's even better than a Boy Scout at keeping these in place so they don't go anywhere. But see, my wheel is completely secured with these straps. They're on really, really tight. Steve is over there strapping up my other tire too. Look at the, the cab of this tow truck. The cab of this tow truck is really cool. I mean, of course it's got their logo on it, Milstead Automotive, because that's where we are today. It's really cool. But do you see what colors it is? I see white and red. So when you get your car towed, you can't ride in your car anymore. You have to ride somewhere else. So you would actually get in the truck with the tow truck driver and you would ride in there just like a normal vehicle. See, it's, they keep it really clean and nice for you. And it's just like a normal truck, except it's got these big old steps on it. Wow, I feel like I'm up really, really tall. Wait a second, 
He's moving the truck around. Wow, look at that. That is so neat. My truck's getting lifted right up onto there. That was so cool. So thanks to those hydraulics and all the systems and tools that this truck has, my truck went from being on the ground to up on this flatbed in no time flat. That was so cool to watch. Wow, hey, come over here. Look, these are all the different levers that Steve used to raise up my truck and move it around. I am not gonna touch them because I'm not a trained professional, but he, these are his tools and these are what he uses to do his job. This is important. Tow trucks keep a fire extinguisher on board, although they're not firemen and the firemen will be on their way as quick as they can, they could act quickly with a small fire extinguisher to do what they can and prevent a bigger fire from happening. It's real important. And that's another safety feature of the tow truck. Always have a fire extinguisher handy. Oh look, now that it's up on the flatbed all the way, Steve's gonna go ahead and strap in the back tires too. We don't know how far we have to go until we get to the shop where it needs to be fixed. We might have to go to a tire shop, a body shop, a paint shop, a paint and body shop. There's all kinds of different shops, so you don't know how far it's gonna have to be towed. And that's why you have to make sure it's really secure on there and it's not gonna go anywhere. It's strapped down really, really tight. There he goes again with that fancy knot. Wow, that looks like a neat knot. Look how high up in the air my truck is. It's really, really tall up there. Can you still see my logo up there? Oh, it's a reach. But it is so high off the ground and it's completely strapped in and ready to go. So we're ready to be towed wherever we need to go thanks to this awesome tow truck. Wow, and look on the other side, there's another fire extinguisher and another set of controls right over there. Remember those controls that we looked at that work all of the hydraulics on the truck? They have them on both sides because you never know what side of the road you might be on and it's good to have access from both sides. And all of these trucks have a lot of reflective tape on them. You don't know if you're gonna be doing work in the daytime or at night. So at night, this reflective tape would reflect the headlights off of cars. And that's really cool because that way everybody can see them and it's really obvious what's going on. Hey, somebody's getting towed and we need to watch out. They also have, I mean, this is where they would keep all their different chains and hooks. And this is a big, strong metal hook. And they use this to clip onto underneath cars sometimes. Let's take a look at what the driver has to see when he's driving the tow truck. That's a big, important job, but I bet it looks a lot like a regular car with some extra stuff in it. Let's find out for ourselves. So yeah, it looks like a normal truck, but he's got some other additional items too. This controls the lights on the truck. And then down here, he's got all these different radios. They use all those different radios to listen to different scans and things like that so they can make sure if there's an accident nearby, they can get there really quickly. Wow, that was cool. I've never seen the inside of a tow truck before. That was really nice of them to let us check it out. All right, guys, well, now that my truck's back on the ground, look, the Cowboy Jack is still smiling. <laughs> well, since it's up here kind of at an angle, we can go ahead and drive it out of here. So I'm gonna get in and take off, okay? It's kind of different getting in it at this angle. Can you guys see me up here? This is really neat. 
I mean, it looks a lot different because I'm at a very strange angle, but I'm gonna slowly back my truck down off of this incline. All right, I am off and all the way. You guys wanna get in with me real quick? We're gonna go on a small adventure, come on. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, we got something completely different to look at. Do you see what this is? This is a huge tow truck. I mean, this thing is not a normal tow truck. It's got huge tires and it's even got a crane on the back of it. Look at that big boom. This is no average tow truck. So what this is actually called is a recovery tow truck. They use it to recover vehicles that have fallen into a strange spot and a normal tow truck can't get to it. So if you think about like a, tow, a truck fell down into a ditch and a tow truck can't get it, they would bring this in and operate this big boom to go ahead and pull it out of there. And we're gonna get to see some of that in just a minute because guys, they're gonna actually use the boom to pick up this old forklift for us. It's gonna be really exciting to see. But this truck has so many different components on it and compartments for everything. Like this right here, it's like a remote control system and this remote control controls all of this right here. So they can do all of this by these joysticks or Chris also had, my buddy Chris also has a handheld version of this that he can use too. That's really neat. Anyways, there's a lot of compartments and we'll look at some of that later, but I wanted to show you guys in the cab because come here. I mean, look at this thing from the front. It looks like just a normal 18 wheeler, right? But it is far from normal. And I've never been inside the cab of a recovery tow truck before. Have you? No but they said we could take a peek. Come on, let's go. Look at that, the door handle's right here at eye level almost with me. Wow, it's got a big, big door. I'm gonna climb up in there. Wow, do I look like I'm up really, really high? It's because I am, it's really high up here. Wow, you guys wanna come in here with me and take a look? Check this out, guys. So it's got a normal steering wheel in it, just like every car but it's also got all these different switches. I don't even know what any of those do. And the gear shifter looks really complicated. They've got radios up here, scanners, and it's got a back seat big enough for you to take a nap in. That's really cool. Wow, all right, well, I'm gonna go back down. So when you're getting out of a vehicle this large, you have to have a safety handrail. I mean, I've got some steps I gotta go down, right? All right. Wow. All right, well now let's watch my buddy Chris as he picks up that forklift. It's gonna be so cool. Chris is using that big remote again, and he's lifting up these chains a little bit right now. That's really cool. This is all done by remote control. Guys, look, so what Chris did is he used those, the remote control to move the boom and those chains all exactly where he wanted them. And now he's unhooking them and he's gonna hooking them back up on this old forklift that we're gonna raise up with this big, big tow truck. That's so neat. All right, guys, look right here. 
this is just like the remote control that you would have on a video game like Nintendo or something but this isn't controlling a video game it's controlling that big boom up there Wow right over here it's got all these different storage compartments this is where they store extra shackles like Chris is using on those chains right now these go on chains and hold things they use those to lift things up and then all these different devices and pulley systems that they can use wow and look down there remember when Chris dropped those support beams down it came down out of the truck and that's what you can see underneath them all done by hydraulics of course but look just like we had on the other side this big remote control that controls the boom and he's doing it with the handheld controller too wow in this storage compartment they even have an extra light bar so if they towed something that didn't have working lights on it they would put that on the back of it and turn those on and that way everybody can see what they're towing safely and know to stay back and out of the way it's really important wow look at this guys do you want to count the wheels with me this thing has a whole lot of wheels on it let's go ahead and count them i know it's loud because we're right next to the motor but let's just count them real quick so this is one two let me come around the support there's three here's wheel number four and one behind it wheel number five and then wheel number six and another one back behind it wheel number seven so all together that's seven wheels on this side it's the same on the other side so what's seven times two that's big math but seven times two is 14. so this isn't an 18 wheeler it's a 14 wheeler all right guys you ready to see him lift this thing up i'm really excited about it all right well so you're going to use the remote control to lift it up yeah. that is so cool let's stand back and make sure that we're safe wow you guys see it coming up off of the ground <laughs> that is really neat i mean that thing was just on the ground and now here it is up in the air all thanks to that big boom on the truck now we're going to put it oh wow did you hear that he's going to rotate it around towards us that is so neat you can see the boom rotating over there and the forklift is moving around towards us wow this is so impressive that is so huge and so big and it's picking it up like no big deal at all that's so cool wow that forklift you know the forklift looks a little old and tired right it's seen its better days and it's just sitting out here probably waiting to go to a scrap yard but look how long those forks are it's got really long forks that's not a normal forklift this is an industrial sized huge forklift and they've picked it up with no problem with this big recovery tow truck that is so neat my goodness i mean i wish you guys could get a feel for how big this thing is i mean look at cowboy jack i'm about yeah, six feet tall with my boots on right this thing is huge even if it wasn't up in the air it's really big looks like it's about time to put it back in its own place all of this action and it's all done by remote control so you know we, we use remote controls for a lot of different things the garage door opener um, video games we use controls for that we also use remotes for the TV changing the channel right 
but they also use remotes for things like tow trucks. I had no idea. That is so, so neat. Looks like he's just about to set her back down on the ground. All right, guys, it looks like it's all the way back down on the ground. Wasn't that cool? It was no problem at all for this big recovery tow truck to lift that thing up. If they come to a site where there's a car that's down in a ditch, they could use this same boom to pull it out of the ditch with no problem at all. If it can lift that big old machine, it can lift a car with no problem whatsoever. Wow. This thing is so neat. And look, I mean, whenever these supports are down, there's not a single wheel on the truck that's actually touching the ground. They're all lifted up and everything is supported by these big counterbalances. And look, there's all these compartments on the truck. I mean, there's all kinds of tools that you need to do the job, right? So if you look inside the compartments, they've got all kinds of different gear. Like this one has different forks you use to pick up different trucks. And look, they have flashing lights even in the door right here. They have flashing lights everywhere. That's a really bright light. This truck is so, so neat. I mean, all these different compartments and things. Oh, look, this one has mat jacks in it. What these are is inflatable mats and you would hook an air hose up to them and slide it under something you need to lift up. And then when you inflate it, it lifts it up off the ground so you can get other lifting equipment up underneath it. They're really cool. Wow. And all of these compartments that we already talked about and the, the controller system, and he's got the remote control in his hands. This truck is so, so cool. There's so much to it. Wow. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, we've had an adventure today. I hope you've had a great time because I know I've had a blast. My truck got towed for just a little bit. And then also we got to check out this ginormous recovery tow truck and even see it lift up a forklift. That's so cool. I wanna say a special thanks to our buddies at Milstead Automotive here in Spring, Texas for giving us their time and letting us come and check out this big equipment that we wouldn't normally get to see. It's been so fun. So anyways, go ahead and click subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. Make sure you see all of our upcoming adventures because we've got some good ones coming. And until next time, yeah!